Hi, welcome to Web Development Training Program. In this program, we are going to learn the complete web development in which we shall cover few technologies which are HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery and then PHP. So right now we are in HTML part. So before that, before this video, I have uh, discussed few concepts in the previous videos on the same channel. So if you uh, haven't seen those videos, please uh, see those videos so that you could able to carry on this particular uh, lecture, this particular video uh, more easily. So our today's topic is inspect HTML elements. I will say it one of the most important concept that most of the people don't know those who are beginner i am talking about the beginner because uh, those who are at the top level 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 are those who are in the industry they are mostly using but uh, those who are students they are not uh, well aware about this particular concept and i think that this is one of the most important concept because if they would know better they would able to uh, make their task more easier right they would have to spend uh, less time in order to uh, improve their websites or maybe improve improve their uh, coding part right so let's start for example inspect elements means uh, for example I'm going through a website which is radix web this is a website I have opened it and now I have clicked on services so this is the page of radix web website right I want to know about this uh, coding part this HTML part and CSS part so hi how I will I would able to know about I will click right click on this and click on inspect or another option is I would uh, press F12 uh, key which is function key right so once I shall click on the function key then I would have this particular window I think you are looking at it this is elements elements each and every element is over here head then body and inside the body whatever we have written over there everything is going to be displayed for example this is header part inside the header we have container inside that container what we have is we have another row and inside that row we have these few columns and above here you are looking at uh, each element is going to be nominated and this is the part and in this div part we have this header man and inside that we have another div inside that we have another nav bar and inside that we have few more things and inside of it we have another you are uh, on order list and in this we have list and all list yes of course so in this way we can able to uh, check each and every element that has been used uh, in a particular image right and most important thing that uh, in this that is in, uh, in that is over here is for example header man is the name of the class so what is the what is the CSS that has been used on this particular element this is important so we can see over here on the right part we have header man and whatever CSS would be used that would be displayed over here right header man we have margin top we have right equal to 0 top equal to 22 pixel so for example we are hiding this we are hiding this there would be some change you are looking at change this is header uh, this is nav, nav bar so once I will check on the margin top then 3% and otherwise that would be 0% right and if I want to increase this then you can say that this would be going from up to down right we can also change and check over here right similarly for example we have another element that we want to check so how we would uh, click on it and uh, that particular element would be displayed here 
once we shall click on this particular on the left corner once we shall click on over here then we can select any part so what i am going to do is i am clicking on over here and then i am just clicking on here or you can say that once i clicked here and then i clicked here right and i have uh, here this is the element uh, on which i have clicked right so here is the class which is content wrapper so i want to go to the content wrapper this is the content wrapper right so if i want to change the background of this that would be reflected here right for example red so this red background would be reflected over here and i can check multiple backgrounds and i can also change the padding over here you can see see the change and even this can be also be changed right so for example i want to change the size of this particular image right so this image is over here and i want to mention the width equal to 500 pixel right and height equal to 500 pixel so you can see the width and height of this particular image is grown so in this way you can uh, you can play with the elements that are in in a page of a particular uh, website right so from there you can get the idea that how the elements are going to be used and how the css has been applied over there right so in this way we can uh, for example we have this and we have box outer and i want to change the background yellow right so here yellow has been reflected have you seen this is the case so in this way you can do multiple uh, things over here and check and uh, play with the code and then after you can copy paste to your own code right for example uh, in my own page i am uh, checking the uh, width and then after i set a, a proper width and height then i should copy from here rather than uh, from there uh, as you have seen that uh, once we are uh, done with the coding part then after we uh, go to move to the browser and then refresh the page and then after do the things for example if you want to save uh, if you want to save the time then what you can do is you can uh, come to this particular inspect part inspect element part this is console part right so over here you can make changes and then after copy paste this content and copy this content and paste into the css file that you have used right you can also change uh, these particular attributes uh, values and all so this can be this can makes our task more easier right so uh, here is one more interesting uh, thing which is uh called as responsiveness so once you will click on this uh, mobile icon you will find this responsiveness responsiveness means if your uh, page would be on the mobile phone then how this would be shown and if that is on the tablet then how it would be shown and if that is on the desktop or maybe laptop then how it would be shown so so you can uh, check by congesting this you are looking at uh, there are some Uh, elements which are going down which are growing in this way or maybe you have any specific device you can check from here for example i have galaxy s5 so you can see that in the galaxy in the galaxy 5 my page would be shown in this way if i have ipad then on ipad this would be shown like this if i have another device that would be shown in this way so in this way you can also uh, cho check the uh, responsiveness later i will uh, uh, go into the in depth 
of this responsiveness but uh, before that right now i'm just uh, giving you an idea that how you can see uh, all these features and how you can use these uh, all these features so that you could able to uh, use and implement the concepts in the day-to-day -day life where you have needed right so this was the basic uh, funda of uh, uh, inspect element so i think you have cleared uh, you are just now cleared with the concepts that i want to put into your mind right so if this is fruitful for you then you should share with the others because sharing with the others is one of the best thing because uh, if we don't able to uh, teach somebody then by sharing to somebody uh, maybe he would able to learn a new concept right because of you so you would be the reason for his learning right so also subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed this and be continue with the videos uh, in the coming videos i would also try to implement new uh, concepts which you may have not learned before and uh, like this video also so thank you thanks for watching